Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how can you have your own virtual PC on your PC. So, uh, basically what virtual PC does is to allow you to have another operating system on your original operating system. So, for example, this is Windows 7. Uh, it's not the team, it's, it, it's uh, the real Windows 7. And I want to have um, Windows XP on my computer. So. I can do that by downloading uh, this software named Virtual PC. So just go to this uh, web page, it, be, it will be in the description, and just download your version. If you have 32 bit operating system, download for the 32 bit, and if you have a 64 bit, download for 64 bit. So I will download for the 32. I already have it, so I won't download it. And just install it, and then you will have this file now. Just double click on it and you can see um, it starts. So uh, you will have here, you won't have, uh, you, um, you won't have anything here. So um, uh, you have to create a new slot. You can do that by just go to new and just follow this wizard's uh, instructions. Just fill in what you need to and um, when it's done you can start your own virtual PC and then you have to install your operating system so if you have for example Windows XP um, you, you can just install it by an ISO image or you can have it on a CD and you can just put it in the CD ROM and just follow the instructions it's the same like if you would install it on a regular computer so um, it's not necessary that you have Windows XP, you can have Ubuntu or um, Linux. So when it's all done and you have installed your uh, operating system, you can just start it and it is like the real thing. So um, um, you can, you can uh, notice here uh, we have some options uh the main option is full screen mode i will show you that later ju i will just log in to my xp and y you see the real xp so uh you can go to full screen mode and here you have it see now i will um like to point out this option shared folders which I don't have here oh yeah there there are see these are my shared folders you see and these folders are actually on my Windows 7 this is that folder you saw before so every file you put in this folder it will be also in your XPS so this is very very useful uh, function um and uh, oh just a tip if you want to go uh, in full screen mode and then if you want to go back just press the right alt uh, hold the right alt and press enter and uh, here you have some options here you can see some options um this will be um this you can go through by yourself um, just it's it's just a, re a regular computer and you can do whatever you want to do so um, I hope this helped you please comment rate and subscribe and if you have any question please uh, leave it uh, here on this video um, uh, so it's an amazing uh, it's a freeware and it's a good uh, program so I recommend it if you want to, to test uh, s some operating system uh, use this because I it's very good so um, uh, I like it so thank you for watching and see you next time